Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity investigating a dual FSM. Here is our objectives of this packet tracer activity. Uh, in part 1, verify the EIGRP configuration. In part 2, observe the EIGRP dual FSM. We will also see the background in this activity. We will uh, modify the EIGRP metric formula to cause a change in the topology. This will allow us to see how EIGRP reacts when a neighbor goes down due to uh, unforeseen circumstances. We will uh, then use the debug command to view topology changes and how the dual finite state machine determines successor and feasible successor path to reconverge the network coming to part one a verify eigrp configuration in step one examine the routing tables of each router and verify that there is a path to every network in the topology so what command displays the routing table we have the show command called a show ip route first of all we will come to r1 and we will verify enable show ip root right i will come to r2 cli show ip root right coming to r3 show ip root yes next is are any of the routers load balancing between any network yes obviously this uh, r1 uh, to the network 192.168.10.8 network here we can see that 10.8 network yes uh, on R2 uh, to the network 192.168.10.4 here we can see that 10.4 yes uh, coming to R3 uh, to the network 172.16.3.0 3.0 yes here we can see that right now we will come to a step 2 verify that each router has entries in its uh, neighbor table uh, what command displays the neighbor table yes we have show ip eigrp neighbors coming to r1 show ip eigrp neighbors right here we can see two neighbors right coming to r2 cli show ip eigrp neighbors in this router also we can see two uh, neighbors coming to r3 show ip eigrp neighbors yes here also we can see two neighbors next is how many neighbors does each router have yes we have seen all routers that is r1 r2 r3 have two neighbors now we will come to step three analyze the topology table of each router what command displays the topology table Yes, we have show IP EIGRP topology. Coming to R1. Here we are going to give show IP EIGRP topology. Coming to R2. Show IP EIGRP topology. Right. Coming to R3, show IP EIGRP topology. Next is based on the output in the topology table, how many successor path 
does each router have yes we have seen uh, uh, total uh, seven successor, successor paths here we can see uh, total six but here we can see to the network 192.168.10.8 uh, we can see uh, two successor so total we get seven why are there more successor paths than networks yes just now i told there are uh, six networks in the topology uh, but each router has uh, two successor paths to one network uh, for example here we can see for r1 uh, has uh, two successor paths to uh, this network 192.168.10.8 or if you consider r2 uh, has uh, two successor paths to 192.168.10.4 and for uh, r3 uh, also has uh, two successor paths to 192 sorry 172.16.3.0 next is copy the output for uh, r1's topology table to a text editor so that you can refer to it later right coming to part two observe the igrp dual fsm step one on r1 turn on the debugging feature that will display dual fsm notifications so what command enables a debugging for the eigrp dual fsm we have a debug eigrp fsm coming to r1 here we are going to give a debug eigrp fsm here we can see eigrp fsm events actions debugging is on coming to uh, step 2 force a dual fsm update to generate debug output a place the r1 and r3 windows side by side so that you can observe the debug output then on r3 disable the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface we are going to shut down it right so we will do that coming to the topology here is our r1 window right now coming to R3, well, now we are going to disable the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R3. Enable configure terminal, we have to go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And we are going to give the no shut command. Now here we can see both windows R1 and R3. Here we are going to give shutdown. Yes. We got some message here. Coming to B, do not disable a debugging yet. What debug output indicated changes to the routing table? Yes, so here we can see that removing destination 192.168.10.4 slash 30 next to op 0.0.0.0 Coming to step 3, display the routing table of R1. Verify that 192.168.10.4 slash 30 network is no longer in R1's routing table. Coming to R1, show IP root, and here we can see the details. On R1, uh, in this routing table, uh, we can see that uh, there is uh, no network 192.168.10.4 slash 30. Next is, uh, describe any other changes to the R1 routing table. Well, coming to our routing table, here we can see uh, in R1 uh, to the network 192.168.10.8 now we have uh, only uh, one root instead of two yes previously we have seen uh, here is our uh, document coming to that yes here we can see that we have uh, uh, here for R1 uh, has uh, two uh, successor to 192.1 uh, 
coming to uh, step 4 determine the differences in the topology table examine the topology table of R1 and compare it to the previous output from part 1 are there any other changes to the R1's topology table right we will verify that coming to R1 here we are going to give show IP EIG RP topology and here we can see the output Here we can see the 192.168.10.4 slash 30 is no longer in the topology table and there is only one successor to the 192.168.10.8 slash 30. Coming to step 5, document the changes in each router's neighbor table. Examine the neighbor table of each router and compare it to the previous one from part 1. Are there any changes to the neighbor table? We will verify that coming to R3 here we are going to check it show IP EIG RP neighbors here we can see the neighbor coming to R2 enable show IP EIG RP neighbors so here we can see the neighbor and coming to R1 show IP EIG RP neighbors right with the comparison here we can see uh, the previous uh, uh, show command uh, the neighbor 192.168.10.6 uh, no longer available now coming to uh, step 6 uh, restore connectivity between R1 and R2 with the R1 and R3 windows uh, side by side on R3, activate the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface and observe the debug output on R1. Here is our R1 and R3. Right. Now we will activate uh, the serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface on R3. So configure a terminal, we have to go to the interface, serial, 0 slash 0 slash 0, and we are going to give a no shut command. Coming to B, disable a debugging by entering the no form of the debug command, or simply enter and debug all. Uh, what debug output indicated changes to the routing table? Here we can see uh, the debug output indicated changes to the routing table now we will give the command and debug all right here is our final question uh, how did the dual fsm handle the change in the topology when the route to r1 came back up Obviously, the route between r1 and r3 on network 192.168.10.4 30 came back up and adjacencies were formed. Well, uh, that's all in this packet tracer activity uh, investigating dual FSM. Friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your Gmail. Thank you.